So in this video, we'll see how uh, move corresponding works and uh, we'll just compare it with a simple group move. So here, COBOL allows you to have uh, same elementary data items, but you cannot have same uh, group items as at 0, 1 level. But if you see the elementary data items here, I've declared A, B, C in this order and I've initialized with different values here. And for group 2, I've initialized with uh, I have changed the order, but the uh, data item names remain the same. So B, I have just moved it to the first place, C, I have moved it to the second, and I have just interchanged the order, but the name of the elements, elementary data items, happens to be the same. So COBOL allows you that. Okay. So here I have initialized with uh, A with 1, 2, here I have initialized A with 77, B here with 23, here with 99, and C with 88 here, in the second group and in the first group. So before moving, I'm, I'm, uh, before uh, moving or using move corresponding, I'm just displaying these values. So if you see here, before move correspond, before any move, I'm just displaying the target uh, data item. Now I'm using move corresponding. C O R R is the short name for corresponding. So you can uh, very well use the short name. Uh, you can see that the keyword is highlighted. Move corresponding W S G one source to target. And after using the more corresponding values, what will be the values of WSG2? And after that, I've just done a simple move, move group move, move WSG1 to, to WSG2. Here I've done move corresponding. Here I've just done a simple move, group move. And I'm displaying the values. Okay. So in move corresponding, what happens is, this particular value of A goes and sits in this particular place. This particular value of B will go and sit in this place. This, so it goes to the corresponding element and then it is, you know, the value is superimposed. When you do a move, what will happen is, this value of A goes to this, it is done by position. In a simple move, it is done by position. In move corresponding, it is done by name. So A will come here, B will come here, C will come here. This will be now for move corresponding. For move, it will move A to B here, B to C and C to A. Okay. So let's just save this. Then now uh, we'll go to compile it. After compiling, we'll again execute it. So before move corresponding, the values of WSG2 was 99, 88, 77. So if we just go there, just I just put it in a notepad. I'm not able to use the you know F9 key because it's mapped to my recording of this one. So I'll just. Uh, this is a different, this one, I'll just open a new notepad. Okay, this was, uh, you know, the initial values of WSG2, that is 998877 in this order. And that's what is being displayed here. Okay, then I've done move corresponding. Okay, if you look at this. move corresponding WSG1 to WSG2. So it will be now B, B, the value of B will move uh, to this place. So it will be 23. The value of C 23, 34 and 12. That will be the answer here. 23, 34 and 12. So you, if we just go to the output. 23, 34, 12, when I am using move corresponding. It happens by the name, you know, uh, name of the elementary data, corresponding elementary data item. Now, again, I'll do that. now here, next I have done a move. So move will do 12, 23, 34 to directly to these places. So it will be 12, 23, 34. This was move corresponding, this was move. 
okay hope it is clear thank you